Hello everybody and welcome back to Melbury Estate. Feels like it's been quite a long time since I've been on this map so it's nice to return. I think it's probably around the 21st of December when we last played on it so quite a long time ago. But we are back today and we're going to finish picking up all of that grass which we did in the, in the grass field near to the main yard. Um, so that shouldn't take the entire episode so we should be able to do something else. But one thing I'm really wanting to do with this map is I really would like to do some potatoes and I already said before I want to do some sugar beet, we've done the sugar beet but now I, I think potatoes really are something which I haven't done on this map properly so I really do want to give it a go and uh, I saw that irrigator mod on farming simulator uh, mod, mod size and I thought that I recognised it from FS13, I may be wrong but it looks very similar, if it is I definitely want to give it a go because it's a very complex mod very realistic and I think it would really bring a great deal to these episodes so hopefully we'll be able to do some potato harvesting and some potato planting and get the irrigator mod and actually irrigate the potatoes realistically rather than just going over it with a sprayer. Um, so yeah that is hopefully going to be all to come before we transfer this map over to the multiplayer server uh, then we'll, we'll continue with this map but only in multiplayer of course with other players uh, which would mean we, we are limited, we won't have the baler and stuff, no forestry, uh, just because it wrecks the server. But that will be probably in a few weeks time. We'll, we'll stick with Challenge Farm for the time being, but we will transfer over in the coming weeks. Uh, so that is all to come. And of course we're starting Sandy Bay very soon as well. So really all we have to do is drive to our field quite a long way, that is one of the problems. However, we're not going back to that tipping point where we've just been because it is obviously a very long way from the field and there is a silage pit, as someone has quite rightly said, down with the sheep. So we'll go over there next time. That field there, the one which we harvested a few weeks ago, or probably a few months ago now actually, uh, with the bales in, is probably quite a good field for the potatoes. It's a fairly decent size. The only thing is, you don't actually have to be near a river in Farming Simulator to use the irrigator but in real life obviously you'd need a water source to provide the water for the irrigator uh, but yeah I don't think in Farming Simulator it matters you can just put your irrigator anywhere it's a placeable mod so it shouldn't be an issue um, so yeah that's probably the field we'll choose for the potatoes But this is the field which we're going to be in for the rest of today. And this is, I think, not too far off completion, really. I think we did do quite a bit before. We've certainly taken the headlands off. There is the forage harvester just over there. So we'll get it set up. We do need to adjust the offset for the follow me mod, which is what we're using to do this we need to be on the right side of the machine ideally you can adjust the offset from the machine so uh, we'll just let it sort itself out it seems to have gone on the left side although actually it doesn't doesn't really matter I don't think so we could just go with it I'm told on a number of occasions to uh, have the tractor on the right of the machine Well, that seems to be working. It's actually remembered from last time, the setting which I gave it. We've just got that left to do. Thankfully the grass hasn't grown. But overall, the Follow Me mod is actually a fantastic mod to use for doing this job. It's very simple. I've always enjoyed the simplicity of the Follow Me mod. And it must be one of my favourite scripts for Farming Simulator. I can understand why people say have the tractor on your right, because now I need to turn left and it's obviously completely in the way so I get what you're trying to say 
and then when we get to the top, it's going to be in the way that way as well. So, I don't know, you can't really win. But it's 35% full. We should be able to squeeze all of this into one trailer load, which makes it very easy. We've still got the New Holland over there. You'll probably need to take that back later on. This is the second to last row which we need to pick up. The trailer is 82% full, so I'm really hoping here that it's all going to fit. It's going to be close. Fingers crossed it'll all go in. Oh, that's me coming off course. I'd like to do more forestry, but then it seems to get such a bad reaction whenever I do that in a video. should fit. 90% pretty much spot on. There are a few bits dotted around which have been missed but it shouldn't be an issue. So yeah let's fold everything up get the tractor to follow us to the bottom of there. We need to change the offset of course. There we go, that should just follow us as it should do. Nice full load. So the forager can go back to that yard over there, the tractor obviously will go to the yard at the far end. We'll get the tractor to stop there, maybe not, let's try again, I think that did it, yes, good. So it should just be a case of putting it away. Nothing else I really want to do with the forager, I don't think. We've done quite a lot of jobs with it. It's had its fair share of use. Okay. So yeah, we've got a lot of machines still. Many machines which we haven't really used too much. Oh, someone left a comment last week saying the Combine's header had fallen off the trailer. It's funny how I don't see things and everyone else does. I, I don't even know where I've put the Combine's header. Let me just go and find it. Ah oh, yes, here it is. So it did, it fell off. How did it do that? Because it wasn't off when I put it in here. We're going to have to reset it, I think, because it's going to be a nightmare trying to get that out of there. Anyway, the tractor, which we have left in that field, we'll have to go and take now to the silage pits over in the far end. It's amazing as well how I don't notice these things. We've been to that farm many times and I completely ignored the silage pits which are there. This tractor is much quieter 
than that harvester. I don't know how well you could actually hear me when that harvester was running. But pretty good. 97% of chaff ready to ferment. Obviously it won't be enough to actually clamp the pit and to put the cover over, but it is a good start. So there is our silage pit, um, and here is the tractor facing the wrong way. I'm not sure the best way to do this, maybe go straight into the shed and then reverse back. Easier from in cab. Right. It's a bit blind, because I don't think even the mirrors can see, but with a bit of guesswork, we should make it. I did notice there was some kind of fork in the way, so we're going to have to go to the right of that. Hopefully don't, don't we don't hit it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Straight to the back. Oh, a bit of lag here. Good. So I'm not sure what percentage that has actually filled it. It's obviously pretty much a puddle at the bottom, but it is still 7%. I think 12% is when you can start to cover them over. So all we have to do is a little bit more and we'll be able to actually use what we've put in there. Okay, so that is today's main job completed. There wasn't too much to do, but now we're gonna go on a hunt for a good field for the potatoes. We may have already chosen one, like I say, but it might not be the best. So if we've got a better one, or indeed if we can buy a better one, we will do. So we'll drop the trailer off in the yard, as usual. Some, a few people were actually wondering how you change the livery on the trailer. Well, I'll show you how to do that in a minute or two. Uh, we'll wash it first, and I think we should probably reduce the size of it back down to just the dump trailer or the grain trailer as it is quite big when it's got the stylish boards on. Here is our pressure washer. Give it a good clean. I think that's clean enough. And yeah, if you want to change this livery on the side, basically, if you walk up to it, press X, a bit close here, but if you press X when you're close to it, you can see we're changing it. Scottish flag, UK flag, and then just standard. So that is how you do that. A few people did actually ask me. Um, but yeah, we'll put it away. I don't know if there's any space here. Oh, there is. We'll put it in there. So we now have a full shed. And this tractor and just go over here. Right, so let's go into our map. Here we are. And uh, potatoes are showing up as like a little, I don't even know what the color of that is. It's like a reddy brown color. 
Uh, there is one field on the map, field 28, which has already got potatoes in. I was actually hoping to plant some of my own, so I'm going to look for a fairly small field to do this in. Um, failing that, like I say, we'll, we'll use the field which we had before. Um, but, let's just look for a field which hasn't got grass in, which is most of them. Um, but, let's just have a look. Yeah, they are all fairly full. Field number one, which is behind the yard, which we still are yet to harvest, uh, which we put all seed rape in, is actually a very good field for that. But it's obviously got a crop in, so maybe not. Or we could harvest that first. We could harvest that first. Uh, just depends how everyone wants me to do it. It obviously won't take too long because it's such a small field. Um, so yes, I'm going to leave this open to everyone to decide. Shall we go for field number one? Shall we go for field number... Which one would it be? The one behind the yard... 16 or shall we go for an, an entirely different one overall uh, the only thing is I don't want a big one because potatoes can take a long time to harvest and you can't really harvest them very quickly so I don't want to drag it on for too long so yes please do give me your thoughts on this this is field number one just here it's a bit of a messy crop because we had the uh, crop destruction mod on before and when we had to reset a vehicle we had to drive back through the crops and it ruined the crops, so didn't really work. But this is field number one, which is actually a very good field for the potatoes. Um, so yes, well, let me know and we'll do whatever ever wants me to do. We could also whole crop that, I suppose. Just a suggestion. But in the meantime, we'll just jump into our JCB and we'll get this started up. We'll sell a few more bucket loads of the silage, which is just here, just so we can maximise the amount of money we've got. Really not doing too badly now on this map. Actually very successful. And I've also got use now to the joystick. Which makes it much better. Still much slower than using that really big JCB, but hey, at least we're not doing it with a shovel by hand. We can easily afford another field if you want me to get one. It just depends how you want me to use the money. Either go for new equipment or different fields. That's looking quite empty. Yeah, only 3% left. We might as well empty the entire pit. One more bucket load after this, and we're done. And 1% left. We better just empty it. You know what happened last time. Got to really scrape the bucket down. Oh, still a tiny bit in there. Come on, Phil. Still registering. Okay, we might have to come back to that.
But there we go. Not a bad ending, really. £105,000 just sitting there waiting for us to spend it. See if we can, oh, there we go. Now it goes in. Typical. Well, next time we will just tip that. But yes, I think we'll probably leave it there today. And next time we'll either get the combine out and harvest field number one, or we will just go straight in to the other field with a cultivator and a drill and get some potatoes, well not a drill obviously, but get the planter in there and get the potatoes into the ground and um, begin work on the potatoes because I really do want to use the irrigator mod. So there we go. Thanks for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please do join me again next time when we'll be doing something and probably on court farms. So that is all to come. But until then, see you later. Bye for now.